I am deeply upset with Dave and Buster's. Admittedly, this is a strange thing for an adult man to say about an arcade, but this is a strange arcade. Dave and Buster's is primarily in the United States with some stores in Canada and allows you to eat bar food while playing overpriced arcade games. Recently, Dave and Buster's announced their intention to diversify by partnering with Lucra. This partnership will allow people to gamble on the games at Dave and Buster's. That's right. People will now be able to gamble on skee ball, once again proving that the skill based gaming exemptions to gambling laws was a huge fucking mistake. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that no one needs to fucking gamble on skee ball. And if you really want a friendly $5 bet with your friends on a game, you do that by turning to your friend and going, loser of this game buys the next round of drinks, and then your friend goes, bet, and you roll the ball, and one of you buys drinks. Plus, if you do this kind of betting that I just described, Dave and Buster's isn't getting a fucking cut of your friendly bet with your friend. At a more basic level, not everything needs to be a fucking casino. The stock market doesn't need to be a casino, but hey, meme stocks. Cryptocurrency is basically 12 interconnected casinos. ESPN just broadcasts gambling lines now. Sports leagues have official betting partners, and some players keep fucking getting busted. Dave and Busters wasn't going to let everyone roll in the money of exploited addicts without trying to get a piece for themselves, and Lucra's regulation-dodging pitch sounded like just the way to bring skee-ball into the DraftKings influence timeline we live in. In short, I am mad at this arcade because they are desperately trying to come up with ways to make a little more money by offering an addictive product where the primary financial benefit to the business comes only if they are able to attract and exploit enough addicts. That is deeply wrong.